Just a standard risk disclosure before today's video, I'm not a financial advisor or trading expert. I'm simply a trader who likes sharing a bit of what I know. Trade at your own risk. I hope you enjoy the series. Hey, welcome to my ninth video in a series I'm calling Back to the Basics, where we'll work on covering all of the basic fundamentals needed to start trading futures. From beginning to end, I want these videos to be straight into the point, focusing on all areas of knowledge needed to start taking trades and build that confidence within yourselves. In the last video, we talked about types of market orders and some basic risk management. In today's video, I want to talk about this indicator that we have down here at the bottom. This is the MACD indicator. We had added it on our charts when I was showing you how I set up my charts, but we never really had the chance to talk about it. Now, MACD stands for Moving Average Convergence Divergence. And what it is, it's a lagging indicator that follows trend momentum as it shows the relationship between two moving averages. So the presets for the MACD down here give us two moving averages. And you can see as they separate, as these two moving averages separate, these bars get bigger, showing the displacement between the two, the difference between the two. And as these two moving averages converge and they get a little bit closer, you can see these bars start to die down. And eventually we get a MACD cross over. Now this is a nice picture that someone had shared with me that kind of just gives us a basic understanding of how the MACD can help us. So we can use these two moving averages versus the zero line that we have here to understand the overall trend bias. You can see as these moving averages are trending above the zero line, you can see price action is continuing to move up. And so our bias would be long and we'd be looking at trying to take long trades versus once these two moving averages cut below the zero line, we'd be looking to take shorts if we get confirmation that we'd be in a bearish trend. Now you can see even in this uptrend, prices will continue to oscillate up and down above and below this zero line here. And we can use these oscillations to help us. And when we get these crossovers, this gives us more data and allows us to analyze trades better so that we understand if we're getting into a more aggressive trade or whether a trade is more likely to work out. What these bars represent, this histogram, really just tells us whether the green bar is above the red line or whether the red bar is above the green line. So in essence, a way that you can use the MACD is if you see moving averages are trending above the zero line here, the moments where we get dips underneath the zero line are just showing us moments of correction in the market. If you look all the way up here, you can see this moment of correction as prices pull back to this 21 EMA. Prices are correcting before continuing the trend upwards. The same thing can be seen here as we get this dip below the zero line here. We have a moment of correction as prices pull back to the 21 EMA before taking off again in this bullish trend. By adding this indicator to our charts, it gives us additional confluence when taking our trades. And so what I did is I kind of marked up the chart a little bit with a few trades that I think I would have taken. Now, I haven't marked all of them. I'm sure there are a number I'm missing. But at least for today's video, I kind of want to talk about some of these trades and talk about how the MACD has played a role into the confidence I had when taking those trades. So on, on most of the videos that I've done, I usually add a level of resistance at the top level of support at the bottom, and then I just extend that across. I change the color, and that's what those red lines are. All the other lines, everything else is we've talked about in previous videos, so that shouldn't be too much of a surprise. So what we can see here is the MACD, these moving averages, are pushing up above the zero line. As the histogram shows, prices are coming back, back down, down to, to this zero line. And you can see that up here as prices are coming down. We're drawing in our short-term trend in place. And all we're looking for is catching that correction right off the 21 EMA to take that trade and go long. Additionally, with the video that we were talking about a few videos back, we have this short-term trend that's working up with a break looking for a new high. Now I marked this as a green as more of an aggressive trade only because we're not, we don't have a second entry here. What this really is, is just a higher low opportunity right off 21 EMA. And that's what makes it slightly aggressive. Now we haven't talked quite a lot about higher lows or lower highs. That might have to be a separate video we make in the future, but the concept is fairly simple. Not only can you take trades on second entry longs and second entry shorts, but you can look for lower high opportunities, or I'm sorry, you can look for higher low opportunities that present themselves after second entry longs play out, or lower highs, like over here, this is a lower high, after potential second entry shorts play out. So with this new low, prices come up and down for a first entry short, second entry short, and then this lower high presents itself nice signal bar to go short 
you could potentially enter something like that. But that's going to be a separate video. Let's get back to talking about the MACD. I mark this trade as a catching stops strategy trade. And that strategy specifically I talk about in a number of my videos. And strategies will be the next video that we talk about. But with this one specifically, we have a new low here. Restarting the count, coming off 21 EMAs. Prices come up, down for a first entry short. And prices are coming up, down for a second entry short that triggers. And as prices reverse, we are catching people's stop losses. You have a number of people that are trying to pick a top. They're trying to go short here. And they're anticipating prices are going to continue down. But when that fails... We're going to catch those stops and ride the momentum up for a scalp. You can see down low the MACD. These moving averages are trading above the zero line here. We got some nice separation between these moving averages. And by the time we enter that trade, we get that momentum just enough to get us in and out of that trade. Nice scalp before prices reverse. I didn't mark this, but this could be another opportunity you take. We have the short-term trend that's working down with a new high. As prices come down and up for a first entry long, prices are continuing down. Notice what's happening for the MACD. We have a MACD crossover. We have these moving averages that are in bullish territory above the zero line, but we have this moment of correction as prices are pulling back to this 21 EMA. While the bar is slightly a bearish bar, prices do hold above the 21 EMA. You could potentially enter here. It would be a very aggressive trade, but we have the short-term trend working down with a break moving down to a new low. This downtrend is played out. Prices holding at 21 EMA. You could potentially enter there. And we talked a little bit about lower high opportunities before. So we have this channel that's working down with a break looking for a new low we have enough room as this 200 ema is coming up we have enough room to get out of our trade because our price target would be down here you see moving averages are pushing down below the zero line nice separation between these moving averages as well as prices come up they're holding at this nine ema the arrow is hiding it but this is also marked as a failure here and what that really is is a second entry long failure so if you start the count at the top here prices are coming down up for a first entry long prices are continuing down they come up for a second entry entry long and then prices fail to continue higher with the break of this trend looking for a new low you got enough room to get out the MACD is making sense with moving averages below the zero line looking to take shorts you could potentially enter there it'd be slightly aggressive but again for the purposes of this video that's how the MACD can help you with this trade here notice moving averages are below the zero line restarting the count here at the top as prices come down slight correction up for a first entry long then prices continue down looking for a second entry long to trigger it's very hard to see but the second entry long triggers one tick above the signal bar i'd enter one tick below to catch people's stops as prices reverse come back down nice separation between moving averages here my stop loss would be going one tick above the signal bar that i entered on and i would have been fine as prices continue down i would have been in and out for the scalp another really beautiful opportunity here if we rewind just a little bit we have the new low here as prices come up and down first entry short prices come up down for a second entry short trigger but you're not looking to go short below this bullish bar. We'd want a nice bearish signal bar. We did have the short-term trend that was working up breaking. We are looking for a new high of this short-term trend. Notice moving averages are below the zero line. MACD is showing a bit of correction here with this histogram pushing above the zero line, but we're looking for the histogram to come back down into this bearish territory. What you could potentially do is restart the count here as prices come up and down for a first entry short. Prices pull back second entry short below this nice bearish bar. You enter on a stop limit order. So as soon as prices hit the price target that your market order is at, prices will fall down. You'll get the scalp and you'll continue to see what the histogram does as prices continue down. Moving averages continue to hold here below the zero line. Restarting the count here where prices get close to this 21 EMA. Prices come down and up for a first entry long. Prices continue down looking for a second entry long trigger it triggers below this doji bar my market order go one tick below the signal bar and as prices come down i'd be in this trade and out for a quick scalp before prices continue to do what they're going to do this is probably more of an aggressive one here but we'll talk about what the macd is doing in relation to price action so prices had continued to move down before eventually reversing and pushing back above this 21 ema and prices are slowly starting to trend upwards we have this new high here as prices come down short-term trend 
with a break looking for a new low. This new high, first entry long, second entry long. If there's a trigger above this bar, we have this channel in play and we probably don't have it drawn like this in the moment. We probably have something more like this and I'll change, change the color here just a little bit. So we probably have something more like that. Second entry long, it's fairly aggressive. Prices are below this 21 EMA, but notice moving averages are above the zero line. Histogram is showing a bit of a correction, anticipating for the histogram to push back up above the zero line. Enter on a second entry long. You could potentially take a trade there as you get that crossover back into this bullish territory and you'd be out for a scalp. But then as prices continue to push on, that's when you start drawing this bigger channel at play. You notice we have this new high here as prices come down and up for a first entry long. Price is pulling back. Prices have been holding above this 21 EMA. Nice separation between 921 EMA. Histogram pulling back for a bit of a correction as the moving averages are above the zero line. Potentially enter on a second entry long there. You'd have your limit order ready. As prices trigger it, you would have been in and out for the trade fairly quickly for at least a scalp. Fast forward here, I think we had one more trade somewhere here. So you can see we have a few trading ranges here as prices are trying to figure out what they want to do. What I did here was I restarted the count. Prices came up, down for a first entry short and looking for a second entry short as prices are pushing above this 21 EMA. Notice these moving averages are about to cross over the zero line. Histogram is showing a bit of a correction, but we get the second entry short that triggers and it fails. If prices are holding off this 21 EMA, so you could cap capitalize on taking a failure here, entering one tick above the signal bar. As prices push up, get you into that trade, stall for just a second before pushing up in and out for the scalp. You can see moving averages are crossing over that zero line into bullish territory and prices continue upwards for a bit before having that break of this channel, looking for that new high, and that's what we get. Basic price action rules here. That's gonna be the introductory video, talking about the MACD for a little bit. I, I really try to incorporate it in a lot of my videos. I found it to be very beneficial. I'm continuing to refine the way I use it, but as of now, it's been very helpful. That's how I've used it. I hope that you guys found it just as beneficial. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about today's video. If you liked the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, so you know exactly when I post this content. Thanks for sticking with me throughout this series, and until next time, thanks for watching.